Uh, welcome to this uh, last lecture of this module 3 that is lecture number 5 and today I will discuss about the, uh, the energization and the de-energization of the bridges. Uh, here as I said the bridge means if you are having more than one bridge in any of the HBDC converter station then you can take one out for its repair or maintenance work. If it is only one bridge is there, so you cannot take it out, then you have to shut down complete HBDC link and then you can take it out and you can repair and then you can again put it. So, that procedure will be similar to the start up and start down of the HBDC link completely. Here I am talking if you are having, uh, let us suppose this is one bridge here in the one bridge in the in one, one pole here, then one you can take it out and then for that you know we have to start this bridge so that current can be bypassed. And this is the procedure which I am talking here, the de-energization of this bridge means we are de-energizing this because we are bypassing here the current completely and then we can reduce the voltage and we can take it out. Energization means I want to once it was there and now I want to put this bridge inside to for the operation then again we have to shift the current from this bypass valve or whatever you want and then the current will be taken here and you have to open the switch. So, that is called energization of bridge. So, here I am talking the energization of bridge if you are having more than one converter bridge in a pole. Pole means here I can say it is a monopolar. So, this will be ground will be returned. So, it is a two bridge configuration. If you are having bipolar then you will have uh, the two here let us suppose and then you are any of this you can take it out. Only problem that if you are having for example, if you are taking this out what happens the voltage across this is going to reduce obvious because the voltage this is giving 0 voltage only you are sustaining this voltage across this pole. Now, you have to be very careful the current which was flowing if it is a constant. So, this bridge or uh, this pole is giving the different power than this bridge. Similarly, you can see if it is a rectifier and another end is rect inverter. So, inverter end here you are having uh, let us suppose you are having two again <coughs> this is a if it is a bipolar then you are having here and then it is here connected. If you are just taking out this what happens the voltage across this is the different than the voltage across this and it is not advisable to take this bridge out again without any problem in this bridge. So, what we do we change because we are maintaining the current because this current will be the same again voltage here since it is reduced and it is basically if you are ideally say it is half. So, this side what we can do we can operate these bridges in reduced voltage mode and then we can maintain the current. So, this side the polarity voltage will be approximately equal to this subjected to the drop in this line, but once again if you are operating these bridges on the lower voltage output what will happen the active power requirement will go high. So, again it you have to see if you are having the enough support then you can operate in that mode reduce voltage or again you can bypass this bridge it's still no problem you can bypass and only operate one bridge even though there is no need of repair but you can bypass and you can keep it for idle. So, another option that no need to here we can have the start one of the leak completely. For example, we are having 1 and 4 here you can conduct here and the current is coming like this. So, this is giving 0 voltage. So, the various uh, possibilities are there, but the voltage here should be approximately voltage here otherwise there will be huge current will be flowing in balance because this voltage this voltage will be you know ground there if the voltage is not maintained this there will be some ground current as well. So, this is maintain and normally we do. So, here energization means you are just putting this bridge in into the operation and the de-energization means you are taking this bridge out. If you are having more than uh, one bridge then it is possible. In the normal if you are having only one as I said then it is a similar you have to shut down your HPTC link and then you have to go for the repair one. Similarly, if you want to put it for the single bridge operation in HPTC link then you have to start up and then you can make it operational already I have discussed with this. Now, in this first I am going to talk about the de-energization. In the de-energization I said there are the two possibilities 
that either we are having a bypass valve or we can use a pair of valve in the same limb and we can make it short circuit. For example, here if this is your the con six pulse converter, this is uh, all the six valves here and we can have a here one option that we can have one bypass this is called bypass valve here is a 1 3 5 4 6 2 and this is treated as 7 so all these are basically the rectifier or gtus switches control switches i can say so this is your current which was going this is a portion here so one option that this was operation and this was off most of the time this is off only this is used or in conducting when we have to bypass this now one as i said one option that we can use this or even though there's no need to this use of this we can use here to in the same limb and this is just like a sar circuit here as a sar circuit in the early days when we were using the mercury arc valves this option was preferable because the arc extension was a very big problem here in this mercury valves so that time we were using this but now it is putting an extra thyristor extra here elements that will increase the cost so already these are there so you can have any here upper and lower in the same leg you can conduct it and this will be just working as here this one so we can reduce so nowadays basically it is used in this fashion now so in this figure here which is shown now i want to discuss it is the case when we want to take it out this bridge means we have to conduct here and this <coughs> shows that again the conduction pattern is similar it is you can see here your valve 6 and 1 are conducting here and the voltage will be as usual 6 1 means this is ea here the positive side your negative side it is your 6 so it is eb so it is you can see this is your eb so it is eb in the lower voltage and this is on top it is ea was conducting now we get a pulse to 2 here and there will be commutation take place here between 6 and 2 this will conduct now after some here the voltage will be again now this negative voltage will be something different because here it is b and here it will be minus ea by 2 and you can see this is ea half of this see this is i can explain basically with the pin so this was basically here here this was half and this is your ea by 2 minus so in this commutation period this vn means negative side i say this is a positive side this is a p this is your n and then it is a during the commutation it is happening now it was decided once 1 and 2 given the firing pulse to 2 now it is decided we want to take it out this bridge means decision can be anywhere if you the 6 1 was conducting here and now i want to take decision then we have to not give the pulse to 2 and we'll see whether the voltage across the 7 is positive or not so in this figure it is decided now we are going to give think after the point b so this is the similar for in the, what are the previous valves we are conducting and then you are thinking means here your 1 and 2 valves are conducting now i am deciding i have to bypass this valve bridge now what will you do now 1 and 2 are conducting the voltage here will be nothing but your eac means the voltage across this will only conduct if here it is your eca will be passed in because here the voltage is your ea here it is your ec we want the ec minus ea that if it is a positive in the case then you can give the pulse here and it will conduct without any problem in that case what will happen the current from 2 will be shifted to valve 7 and the commutation between 2 and 7 will occur and also the current from here to here will take place because the current id was flowing here now it is taken by here so this valve basically the commutation between 1 and 2 and uh, sorry 1 
ion 7 ion 2 and 7 it is happening. Now once at this point we decided that we should this you can say simply block this bridge I want to bypass this bridge then we have to wash the voltage ECA should be passed in. You can see at this moment here this is your EC this is EA is the more EC than EA it is negative just if do a subtraction here it will be negative something coming here only at the point now what happens here now you can say now this is a turn at the point D the three ball should be given the pulse because we know here the our six one then 1, 2 means are they are just getting the pulses, the valves are getting pulses after every 60 degree. So, this was the case when the D at the point D, it was expected if you are not going to de-energize this base, you have to give the pulse here 3 and there will be commutation here. So, what we have to do, we have to block this gate pulse of this 3 so that it should not conduct. Means your 1 and 2 are con continuously conducting. Now you can see if move here, you will find here at this point is the voltage is going to be 0, ECA is going to be 0 and here it is going to be positive because A is more negative than C. So, here from this is equal negative, so it will be 0 here and the draw the voltage will be going like it will conduct ideally if you are 1 or 2 degrees there so the practically but ideally if you are giving here pulse it will conduct. So, what will happen if it is going to conduct here now what will the voltage what will be this voltage and this voltage no doubt the voltage difference here and here it will be 0 because it is a conducting. But if you will ideally say because there are some currents are flowing through this inductor as well there is some voltage here and here as well. So, the voltage no doubt here and here the difference will be 0, but some voltage here and here it will be appearing till we are not firing it is completely 0 because the current is coming here means Ea is coming here all the way. So, what happens here once you are giving the pulse to 7 the voltage here is coming your Eb by 2. This is your negative side and this is also positive side. So, difference is 0 and once the commutation is over then it is here it is going to be 0 because this no current is flowing no voltage is injected here. Now, so in this period where the commutation is taking place between 2 to 7 and 1 to 7 means current here is completely gone from this side. So, that is why here is the current here I 1 is coming here all the way and then it is going to decrease and your I 7 is taking care here and here also I 2 is going to be 0 and finally, commutation is over and the current is maintained through this and the voltage becomes 0 here completely. You can see the voltage here is 0. So, this is basically a rectifier side. Now, I want to show you that how this current increases and how this is a this current is decreasing and the I 7 is taking complete current. If I 7 is not taking com complete current and it is going back then again this wall will be disconducting and this will continue to conduct. We want the complete transfer of the current from this side to here and then only we can take it out and to taking it out we are having no doubt the switches here and then we can open and then we can take it out. Basically, the switches are not here, switches are here basically, here, here and we are having another switch here. So, what happens if it is a conducting now completely? So, this basically in the beginning it is closed, this is open. In the normal operation here, this is this is your basically the complete rectifier circuit, this is your bypass valve. So, the current was coming here earlier here now after the commutation it is going here and it is going all the way here because this switch is open. Now, once it is conducting this voltage is 0. So, here this switch ex will also experience the voltage 0 and then you can close it here. 
and once you are closing here just you can just block this you can just commutate it off current will be completely taken here without any problem and once the current is taking place here completely then you can open these switches as well and then you can completely take it out and then current will be bypassed so this is basically the de-energization of the bridge now i am going to derive that how this current is going to be taken care by ball 7 during this commutation period uh, between 2 and 7. To derive this, you just see this circuit. What is happening? As I said, 1 and 2 are conducting and at this, when ECA is going to be positive, we are giving the pulse to this. Now, I am just writing the equation for this. Now, before that here, I said the voltage will be E B. The, I said this voltage here, this is nothing but half E B. This is minus E B by 2. You can also see from this figure, this is just reverse here and half of the magnitude. This is complete is half. So, this is E B by 2. The region here, this here is E C, here it is your E A and it is sorted. So, the voltage here and here means voltage at this point will be your E A plus E C by 2 and that is equal to minus E B by 2. Both will be the same polarity. That is why it is following this one. Once commutation is over, there is no current because this is only coming due to the inductor part here and the voltage source. If the current will be off here, this voltage will be 0 at all because we are not in injecting any voltage in the circuit and this will be 0 and that is why you can say when commutation is over, suddenly the voltage is going to be 0, both this polarity as well as this polarity. But once it is conducting, as you can see, this Pn will be the same potential because it is a conducting so the difference will be the 0 voltage. Now, so that is why it was E B by 2. Now to derive the current that is taken care by the valve 7, we again we can derive the circuit here. This voltage will be equal to this voltage once it is going to conduct. At the time once it is conducting here, you know this is a just a parallel path, this is a short circuit. So we can again write the similar equation as earlier, it is your E A minus L D I A by D T. Here it is your phase A here drop, L C here I have written, you can write L C, it is no problem. That will be equal to your E C minus L D I C by D T. You remember all the currents we took that it is a coming out from here, phase current here coming out, here coming out. No doubt the here current is basically going inside. So, it is our convention is same and the value will be coming automatically negative. Now, this is I am talking here the current is coming. This is I A C. I C is just basically here. Now, you can see at this point here as well as here we can apply the Kirchhoff's law. This current whatever is going I 7 here this I 7 will be equal to this minus this. No, what? This is coming, this is coming, we have assumed this current direction this. So, this is I C plus I D will be your I 7. Means your here I C plus I D is equal to your I 7. Means if you are differentiating here D I C by D T will be your D I 7 by D T. Here the scenario is different because this current plus this current will be your I D. Means your I A plus your I 7 is equal to your I D. Means I can write D I A by D T will be minus D I 7 by D T. Because this is a DC current so derivative will be 0. Okay? Now from these two here we can replace this we are going to have twice L D I 7 by D T here E C A.
and we want uh, expression in terms of I7 here. This is a line to line voltage. I can write under root 3 Em sin omega t. Mind it here. I am assuming that it is given the pulse here we are taking this is as reference in this case. We are not using alpha and other things. So, we can say this just we are giving at the 0 crossing this current is going to be here this is going to conduct. So, I am taking the voltage across this is starting the your firing angle here it is now we are firing here at ECA going to be positive. So, this is a sinusoidal voltage. Now, here if you go for the I 7 it is your under root 3 E m twice omega L here minus you can differentiate this uh, integrate this omega t here 0 because we are giving here the firing pulse and we are writing for your omega t expression. And this is nothing but it is under root 3 E m twice omega L 1 minus cos omega t. and that expression is written here. Now, you can see this magnitude is similar to the magnitude when we derived the 2 3 wall conduction. This magnitude I s 3 I was talking. So, that is why you can see this right uh, here the current rise here is a similar to this one. You can see this is similar to this one. Means, that this current is rising this current is declining because the same current is taken care by this I 7 and once it is completely 0 it is completely I D. So, this is the I 2 current which was taking at that time we were talking about the commutation between 3 and 1. So, 3 was rising and 1 was decaying. So, the 1 is still it is the same curve and instead of here earlier it was 3 now it is 7. So, the commutation is taking place and once it is there. So, we can get what is the value of this omega t here that is u 7 I can come it is again the overlap angle is not this normal overlap angle it is I can say u 7 when we are just giving the bypass valve here. So, once here in during this period you can say here it is becomes I d. So, the omega t you can calculate from here because this is going to be your I d then that it is nothing but your u period this omega t we are starting from 0 to u 7. So, we can write here our the cosine of u 7 will be your I d divided by I s 3 here and this is coming this side. So, it is 1 minus this. This I d divided by this. So, this will be coming this side this will be going that side. So, 1 minus I d upon s 3 this will be and that is this period you can calculate that depends upon your the DC current that depends upon the voltage at that time EM is involved here and the frequency as well and that is a, that can be calculated how much time it will take to come out from 1 to 7 or you can say 2 to 7 and that is why that expression which is written here here already this is I 7 is written now. now this is a very simple in case of rectifier side because this voltage is experiencing negative almost all the time. Why? Because this voltage is positive this is negative. So, this valve is experiencing the across this I am talking this minus this is most of the time it is negative, but the reverse is true in the inverter most of the time this valve is getting the positive voltage and that is why here the commutation is very fast and you can commute very quickly without delaying heat here. So, again now let us see here what is happening. In this case also I can say 6 and 1 are conducting then the valve 2 was given a pulse and there was overlap the commutation between 6 and 2 was taking place. Now, here 1 and 2 are conducting here at this point now 1 and 2 are conducting and I want to the block this bridge means I want to bypass here it is very well possible you can see at this point <coughs> what is the voltage 
this is the C and this is your E A. Always positive. This minus this, this is a positive and this is negative you are subtracting and the E C A is becoming positive here as well at this point. And if you are giving a pulse, the commutation will take place. But what normally do? We slightly wait and we wait till the crest of this occurs. Why? At this point, the voltage across this ECA is the highest. You see, this is minus more, most negative. This is rising here. This after this is also declining. This is rising. So, this uh, you will see it is the peak value here occurring, the difference ECA. And at this time, if you are giving pulse, the commutation will be very fast because this will be approximately equal to ID because this EM is involved here. So, this will be approximately this, so U will be 0, means very small value. No doubt this cannot be very perfect there, so some value will be there and U will be very less. That is why you can see here the 7 is given pulse and very small duration, suddenly it is going to be come out, means current is shifting because the voltage across is most positive. Here it was rising just even the voltage was very less and it was taking some time because based on this value. If you are giving here, it will take less time, no doubt, but you are delaying up to this much. So, that will be much, much uh, more time compared to if you are giving here, maybe you will be slightly more. So, this inverter side as it is written, the voltage across the bypass valve is positive most of the time and that is why you can, wherever you can decide here 1 and 2 are there, you can give pulse and it will conduct. Same time here you can see the voltage here is a similar 1 and 2 are conducting. You can see this is the overlap period here the Vn and there in during this period again the Vn and Vp is same as the previous case this was same during the current is taking place here the commutation. Once it is over the voltage becomes 0 here you can see coming here and 0. So, this is basically the inverter side when we are taking care. Now, let us see instead of using this bypass valve as I said, it was used in the early days mercury arc, arc valves uh, because at that time this to even though uh, change from the current here it was very difficult means taking one the same side because it was not properly conducting because uh, due to the arc back and other possibility other mal operation of the converter. So, this type of argument was used, but now since we are having very fast here and the solid state power electronics devices and then we can use one limb instead of having uh, here one bypass valve like this. So, in this case here the instead of a bypass valve one pair of valve in the same leg may be used to de-energize the bridge means here you can start it and then once current is here then the voltage across this is 0 you can close it and once you are closing open these and take it out. But in this case, making 1 and 4 conducting, you have to wait maybe longer period. Why? Because let us suppose your case 1 and 2 were conducting and you have decided to bypass this bridge and we want to make 1 and 4 are conducting. Now, what happens after that the chance of 3 will come? then 4 will come because your 1 and 2 were conducting. So, now here the 4 will come in that same limb the time when you have to bypass this then you are coming here then there will be star circuit. And in that case also even though this you are giving here 1, 2 and 4 there is a commutation of the current will take place here. So, there is a further u degree will be there. In this case, again now your choice is let us suppose 3, 6, then you have to wait again several hours. So, there is a possibility that you have to wait at least maybe the 60 degree, no, if suppose your 2, 3 are conducting, then it is more, yeah. So, 1 and 2 here once conducting and you are deciding to bypass, minimum time is 120 degree, minimum time, maximum maybe again is uh, which is conducting and where which one pair you are selecting to bypass it. 
another problem may occur yeah the see the black and the four will be given the gate pulse and it will conduct and then you will have a short circuit the time required depends upon the selection of bypass pair and the conduction valve at the time of decision one problem is that there is a possibility that at this time if the voltage across the valve four is not positive especially this may occur in the inverter operation so you, we have to see uh, i'm not sure we have to check it and if 1 and 2 is are conducting then we are just blocking this 3 means we are not giving gate, gate pulse 1 and 2 are conducting and then we have to come at the 4 and we have to see whether it is the positive or not to see this we can go back to our previous diagram here is a rectifier operation here this was the basically turn of 3 here but we didn't give now another turn will come at this point where this point after just after this zero crossing here somewhere it is so no 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 sorry here it will be here here it is your 4 this is your 3 every 60 degree how to know it you can see whenever there is a crossing there is some delay here this is a delay there is a crossing here there is a delay alpha degree that's the we are delaying here there is a crossing here so it will be delayed by alpha degree and then it was the turn for the four here again it was the at this case it was the zero here and this was the case of five this was a pattern means here it was your two before that it was one and so on so forth now it will be six and so on so this was a pattern which we were giving the pulses now let us see if 3 is bypassed means the 3 is not given pulse what will happen your 1 and 2 are continuously conducting means we are coming rather than going here in the same graph i am explaining we are this voltage the lower side it is going here and this is going here now four commutation here for this what should be the positive voltage this will conduct now your 2 here this is ec this 2 is conducting and this is your ea so eca should be positive it is a similar to your this condition and you can see it is positive because before it was positive here so now it is the 4 here even though we give the 7 pulse here it was positive from here only means your the voltage eca is like this so it was positive and you will give the gate pulse to 4 it will conduct so this is the way to analyze here i am just i want to tell you just you have to see the pattern and then and whether it is a positive then gate pulse will be there you can just so only in this case here the 3 was blocked and the 4 was given and the voltage across this was positive and it will conduct because you can see it is a c is more positive than this so eca was the commutation voltage here and it is it is a similar this 4 is your 7 in same phase example at here a c here also it is ac and now it will conduct so the current from here it will be it will be this commutate and the current will be flowing here id and once it is there then you can just close this switch and open these two and then you can take it only you have to see in the seven again in the another side uh, your inverter operation and you have to be see whether it is a possible or not again the similar pattern you can analyze so this i already discuss now now we have to discuss the energization of the bridge how it is going to so in this case here uh, in the inverter case as uh, the question arise that uh, it is the beta it is not alpha and you can see in this case what we are taking this uh, valve 2 which is going to be here fired and the commutation voltage of this is your nothing but your ebc and the ebc here is a uh, zero means it is going to be like this and this is going to be negative this is your ebc what happens now at this point now your beta is basically this value up to from here in that this period is your u 
and this period is normally treated as a gamma. So, here your beta you can see this is an uh, in rectifier we are just talking about at this point. The alpha is just we are moving from here alpha and giving firing pulse up to, but in inverted case we are talking here in the another side of this this E B C that commutation voltage. So, you can see this is your beta we are talking here or you can say calculate alpha from here then it is more than 120 degree I say pi minus beta here. So, you can see this is your commutation and this will be inverter operation. So, now this voltage wave shapes are showing this is your inverter operation. So, this is now I think clear this is the beta we are talking and giving the firing pulse to this two and subsequent here. Here I said why we are going for this it may be possible that you can again shift somewhere else means your gamma here at this point this is a crest. So, what happens the voltage across the U 7 here U this uh, U, the 7 wall is the highest and the commutation will be very fast from your 2 to 7 and that is why you can see here it is it's very small angle here this is that is taking care. So, it is very fast rise almost linear I can say it is a smaller portion we can linearize it. So, this is your inverter operation. Now, the same facility if you are going for this instead of using this and we are making any of this after 1 and 2 uh, 4 we have to see the voltage across this 4 is positive or not. And once it is a positive you have to give the pulse it should come out. Even though here you are delaying some of the time here it may be the negative because the most of the time the wall voltage is here is positive. So, it is easier I means then it will conduct, <coughs> but only again once you draw you will find the voltage and it, it, it will be it is done basically. Nowadays in modern HPDC link if you want to bypass it is normally used the same like bridges because we do not want to inter, incur the extra cost because the bypass is not taking every day it is say, the monthly maybe yearly once there is a some problem. And also in the beginning I told here it is not only one switch it is not only thyristor it is the series of thyristors even though it is a voltage also we add some extra thyristors to take care of this eventuality. If we are putting let us suppose requirement is 10 thyristors to give the required voltage we are going for the 12 or 13 even though one is mis, uh, you can say puncture or some problem still this bridge will work without any problem. And whenever you require when load is less your system condition persists then you can take it out because once you are taking it out you know the voltage is reduced and power carrying capability of the link is going to be reduced by that voltage multiplied by the current rating. So, you are just transmitting less power no doubt about it. So, it will be taken the proper time and based on that this maintenance is done. Now, to energize this bridge now the same procedure is adopted here since there was no valves were conducting here and this was your source circuit it was open here it was open and this was conducting. What we do? the possibility here let us suppose I am using a bypass valve then what we were doing. If you are giving the gate pulse to this and you are this is a closed current is flowing voltage is 0 voltage across this 0 this valve will not conduct even Just 0 voltage then it will not conduct. So, what we do we have to impress some voltage and that what we do here normally we use the AC circuit breaker because if the AC circuit breaker is there some some contact drops will be there and based on that it will just it will give in some pulse the voltage will come and then this voltage even the small voltage is suppressed here across this and the gate pulse you are giving this will conduct and once this will conduct then you can open this. So, now this is your open and this is taking care of current. Now, from here we have to come here. In this case the voltage is 0 no doubt. We have to select the pair of valves here it will conduct because the voltage is impressed from this side. Earlier here once we were talking here they were in off condition and we are just trying to shift here and then we are doing this. So, once you are going to do this here then you have to select the pair of valves 
you will try to conduct and at that time you try to maintain the voltage here 0 there should not be huge voltage here otherwise this short circuit this side you are imposing. So, we try to here make the voltage 0 means we make alpha is equal to 90 degree approximately. So, that the voltage across this should be less and then the one pair is taking care then you have to off it and then slowly and slowly you have to raise the voltage a bit of it. It's otherwise what will happen if you are impressing high voltage here what will happen there is huge short circuit current not only ID huge short circuit current here because your DC is short circuited. So, even though this is your rectifier as well as the inverter once we are going to energize we normally operate even though inverter at the rectifier rectifier means the voltage 0 very small voltage normally we make beta is equal to 90 degree approximately 90. So, that is also rectifier this is also rectifier and is just like your energization of HVDC link I discuss we go for 90 90 degree and then slowly and slowly we reduce the alpha and raise the voltage here the same similar procedure we adopted. And once it has taken care you just make it off and then slowly and slowly you can raise the voltages so that you can just energize this piece. So, if you are not using this then it is connected you have to select a pair and they should conduct again the some voltage should be impressed here otherwise it will not conduct. So, some auxiliary arrangements are done in this case so that we can have some positive voltage across this and this so that it can conduct. Here you can see if E A is there if it is a positive this will conduct because this is 0. If this is positive this is 0 it will not conduct. So, we have to do something here that we can impress suddenly the voltage here as well some somehow so that a pair can be conducted. And once it is conducting then current will be bypassed here mind it and once it is so then it is you can open it and you can come here. The normal practice we adopt what we do instead of going 1 and 4 in the beginning we try to conduct here in you know in the sequence order here. Then from there we move here 1 and 4 then current will shift it here and then you can again go back to that mode because how will go give this voltage here it is not possible. This E A is positive this voltage even the going to be just positive you have to impress some voltage somehow that it can conduct make some voltage here injection here some some arrangement should be done some voltage here may be impressed across this and can be conducted. Otherwise no auxiliary arrangement then you have to go for this conduction mode because E A is positive then E B will be negative and E C will be negative this will conduct or this will conduct. So, you have to take this 1 and 2 or 6 and 1 pair is up to you and then after that one this is conducting then the voltage will be here going to be negative because once it is coming here and then you can fire it. So, the major emphasis is here this we have to make the one limb here so that we can open this here and then we can again come back in our sequence order during whole process no doubt you can see that we are no doubt we are injecting lot of harmonics in the DC side as well as the AC side because the currents are changed the pattern it is not a systematic pattern in the phases and we are so during this time no doubt we are introducing some uncharacteristic harmonics as well but here the magnitude is not very significant and since it is required so we have to go for this there is no other option. No, here also there is a possibility of short circuiting when you are choosing a sequence of operations. Uh, which which short circuiting? DC side short circuiting you are talking? DC side. Uh, I, I if the switch is closed and you are operating 1 and 2. Yeah, here if you are just this okay, is a DC. AC side it is directly A and C. Are yeah, this is no doubt AC side is going to be there, but the voltage at this and this will be the different voltages. The difference will be 0 because it is a short circuit even though in the our energization I we saw here this E p and E n are equal, but they are having some magnitude. Once the commutation was over then both were 0. So, this is just like even though every time when there is a commutation is taking place the two phases there is a line to line fault is occurring in the AC side. 
that's why your e always we are ea plus ec by 2 we are doing so this is in this case also it will be the similar and the commutation will take place so what here again i have written you can say this is a similar that's the current is diverted from the bypass pair to the switch one here basically this is a this is a switch one it should be bypassed and then finally we have to take care of this only here i want to emphasize that even though inverter is also operating in the rectifier the beta is approximately 90 degree and because the voltage should be very less and then we have to first shift the current and then we have to raise the voltage and the power rating of this so this is the basically complete energization of of this uh, bridges in hvdc link and since this is the end of this module now let me summarize what i did in the five lectures in the beginning we just developed the equivalent circuit here your rectifier is replaced by a variable voltage dc source with the commutation resistance and this is your line resistance dc resistance basically and this is your inverter side it can be represented in terms of beta here it can be also represented in the gamma from this we saw the various possibility of the ac side voltage rise both even the converter side and the inverter side and based on that we derive this characteristic for the various regions here your alpha minimum that is a constant extinction angle cia control then it is a constant current control here is a constant extinction angle control was there we introduced another slope here this uh, there is a constant beta control and then we had another cc that is a constant current control of the inverter side so this characteristic shows your inverter side characteristic this shows your rectifier side characteristic here in this low voltage operation it was the your thyristor or converter circuit was highly stressed so to avoid this stress otherwise what will happen your thyristors may puncture or they may be damaged so we reduced our operation to the low voltage low current margin so the current cc here it was there it was shifted to some another margin the set value the current value and here we are again having going to operate this inverter in the beta mode operation for the successful uh, uh, commutation otherwise commutation failure will occur so this was it is called the vd call that is the voltage <coughs> dependent current order limiter characteristic is introduced especially during the lower side and same is repeated if we are your converter becomes inverter and your inverter becomes rectifier so it will be repeated in the lower side now we also discussed the various type of schemes so the control schemes in the principle that is the individual phase control or we can go for the equidistance pulse control in that i discussed your pulse frequency control as well as the pulse phase controls and here we compare the ipc and epc we found this ipc is giving the larger voltage compared to epc but it is giving some other problems here we are introducing so many harmonics and harmonic instability may be instability may come into the picture but this side also epc the reduced voltage but there is a possibility here that we can face the transitional oscillation possibility here due to the again harmonics injection we just i saw that's the basic control schemes from both rectifier and the inverter end as well and we saw both cc cia all the characteristic with the power and vd call limiters various blocks i showed then i discussed about the your start up and start down of the hvdc link how this we can start once it is you are energizing complete link rather than bridge i am talking here so we how we starting and then how we can shut down so that for any repair or maintenance work or can be done we also discussed the various uh, control objectives like uh, how to maintain the constant power how to shift the margins for the constant power if the voltage has changed then we have to shift the far constant power we have to change the voltage and the current margins so that we can maintain the constant power in the link i also discussed the tie line power control emergency control frequency control and subsequent resonance control as well and we found that it is a uh, feasible and useful for various control schemes for the various applications and then at end i discuss the energization and the deenergization of bridge how we can take it out the bridge for the maintenance and once maintenance is over how we can put it into the service that is the energization part deenergization means we have to off it and go for the maintenance as well so with this i close this module 3 and in the next module 4 we will see the mal operation again of this converter and we'll see what is the commutation failure what is the quenching what is the misfire 
all this possibility what possibility that we can arise and we will discuss suppose you are giving a pulse here it is not conducting. So, this is a misfire if it is conducting but there may the commutation after taking halfway it is coming back again it is called quenching. Inverter side it may be the commutation failure it is for taking current again it is going back but rectifier side once it is taking current because the voltage is going to be positive it will be commutation will be successful. But the inverter side there is a possibility the commutation from one to another valve may not be successful and the commutation failure will be there we will see the commutation failure maybe the single commutation failure in one cycle maybe the two cycles a double com commutation failure in the same cycle may happen we will discuss all this in this next module ok thank you.